In this video I'm going to be talking about transmission, basically rollers, torque spring, all that kind of stuff. We've all got that mate that tells you, you know, to put 3 gram rollers, 2.5 gram rollers, or that make your bike accelerate faster. We've all heard it. Obviously that's not true, lighter rollers doesn't mean faster acceleration, heavier doesn't mean more top speed, that's not how rollers work. So obviously I'll be talking about what you need to do to get the best performance out of your bike. So obviously some variants could have 6 rollers, some could have 9. Basically, these jobs, the job of these different weights, it'll take different amount of force to, to throw out, and it'll push this, and it'll pull the belt. Same with this spring. This, the job of that spring is to push this rear pulley together. If you imagine the belt from the outside there, that's gear one. And imagine a push bike, so obviously the further down, it's like gear five. The harder the spring, the more force it'll take. I won't get too into detail, I'm just gonna do basic. Um, so you need to know your cylinder's max RPM, where it creates its peak power. So let's just say it's a standard cylinder, 9,000 RPM, with an exhaust, aftermarket exhaust. <clears throat> Obviously, standard exhaust might make the most power at 7,500, 8,000. So let's just say it is 9,000, and you've got rollers in that only will let it rev to, say, 8,000, and the peak power's at, like I said, 9, 9,500. You need to go slightly lighter, to allow it to rev more. Roller's job is to hold the revs at a certain RPM. So if you go really light, it will rev more, but if your kit doesn't, your cylinder and exhaust and all that kind of setup doesn't create the most power at that rev, that RPM, you'll be revving to nine, 10,000, whatever it is. Basically wearing out your cylinder, your crank, using more fuel and for less power because the peak power could be at 9,000 so obviously if you go too heavy the same way around it's not more top speed it'll just might hold the revs at six seven thousand it could be less depending on how heavy you go and obviously if your peak power is again at nine nine and a half then obviously if you're revving too low it's not going to be able to hit the power band so it doesn't mean more top speed you'll have less power either way you need to hold these the roller's job is to hold it at exact rpm Depend on upgraded variators, they do a better job at holding it at a certain RPM. But um, yeah, so basically, you need to know your exhaust, what that's best suited for. If you go for a too high end exhaust, it'll only like to rev at 10,000 plus. And again, if that's the case and your cylinder doesn't make peak power there, it's a waste of power. So you need to match everything up. I could do a more in depth video if you need it or any comments. Just leave, leave a comment and ask me a question. Um, but yeah, pretty basic. Torque springs job is to, like I said, it's to push this rear pulley to hold the belt in a lower gear and position. So if if the spring is too soft for what your setup is, you'll have a, a good set off, set off fast, but the twenty to thirty miles per hour zone around the area, your revs will drop right down. You'll have like barely any power. It won't accelerate anymore, but it'll set off good. If you get a harder spring, it'll push harder, which will keep the belt up at the top here, which is lower gear, so imagine gear one. And obviously that keeps acceleration good. The problem with a soft spring is the belt can pull in easier into here, into like a gear four, five, six, if you imagine it like that. Um, and then obviously that's when you'll suddenly lose all your RPM. It'll be screaming, revving, setting off fine, it'll drop. So that's the torque spring's job. Um, again, if you mess, you, you should mess with both and set them up at the same time. You don't want to just go whack a hard torque spring in and no other modifications because all that's going to do is you're going to be just stuck revving too high and it's not going to pull the belt in. You, you Obviously, you need to match everything together. Same with the rollers. Do it all at the same time. You don't want to mess with one and not the other. Um, obviously, that's not true in all cases. Obviously, you can go lighter rollers and you won't need to mess with that. If, you've got, if you're a standard cylinder you put an exhaust on it chances are you don't need to do the torque spring but it's when you go into something like a you know a mark ii race cylinder revs really high a, a soft spring won't be able to hold it that belt will pull in too easy and you'll just lose all that rpm too fast um so yeah any questions like i said just leave a comment and uh i'll get back to you